Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my third lesson on important video. In this lesson, we're going to be covering rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is drawing over video. So it's creating animation by drawing over something that you filmed. So first off, I'm going to go to File, Import, Import Video, and I'm importing onto my video layer here. At the moment, it's set to Load External Video with Playback Component. I don't want that. I want to embed an FLV in the SWUF to play in the timeline so that I can trace over it. So I'm going to browse for my file, and here you can see I've got the breakdancing video that I had before, except this time it's got the background in it. It doesn't have an alpha channel. So I'm going to click on that. In order to embed your video and play it in the timeline, it has to be an FLV. It can't be an F4V. Not quite sure why that is, but that's the way it is. That's OK. I'm going to import that file now. I'm going to click Continue. A simple type is going to be embedded video. I don't want the audio, so I'm not going to include that. I want it to expand the timeline to the length of the video, so I'm going to leave that ticked, and I want it to be placed on the stage. So I'm going to click continue. OK. And you can see that my video layer now has that video in it, and I can scrub through it like that. And it's extended my timeline for the length of the video, so it goes on for quite a while. So I'm going to lock that video layer now, and I'm going to unlock my drawing layer up here. So what I can do now is I can draw over my video using my graphics tablet. It's very difficult to do rotoscoping if you're using a mouse, so this is a technique that's worth having a go at if you've got a graphics tablet. So I'm going to be drawing in a really garish green just to start off with. And I'm going to really roughly just draw over this character. So here we go. I'm going to draw his hat like that. And like I said, I'm just drawing this really, really quickly. Famous uses of rotoscoping are in Disney's Snow White. But also, um, one of my favourite films is a film called Waking Life by Richard Linklater. Um, and that entire film is rotoscoped using a technique like this well worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Okay, so that's our first frame for Hide Our Video. <laughs> that's my very, very rough drawing. Obviously you could do a better one if you've got more time. So I'm going to go on one, two, three frames and hit F7 or Function F7 on the Mac and that creates a blank keyframe. Generally what I work to if I'm using 25 frames a second which I am, is I'll do a new drawing every three frames. So this first keyframe lasts a one, two, three frames, and then I do a new one. So I'm going to do my next drawing now, again really quickly just to illustrate. It's just a way of getting some more realistic movement into your animations. It's also a really good way to learn how things move by studying video. That's what a lot of animators do to figure out how animals and humans move around. It's how they develop walk cycles and other similar things. So rotoscoping has been around for a long time and uh, a lot of people use it. So just do a few more of these frames just to get the effect to work. Another quite famous use of rotoscoping although done in a slightly different way, was the iPod adverts uh, about five or six years ago. They used a kind of digital rotoscoping that basically created a silhouette of people dancing around. So I've drawn a few more frames for our animation, so let's have a look at that. So you can see that we're already beginning to get some really quite interesting movement there and all just with a few scribbly drawings. So it's just worth me pointing out that I'm running this animation at 25 frames a second and my video 
it's running at 25 frames a second as well. So it's really important that your flash project matches the frame rate of your video, otherwise your animation is going to look quite strange. Another thing worth doing when you're rotoscoping is you can see I've got a draw layer and my video layer, which has my video on it. But I don't want this video to show up in my final export. So I'm going to right click on it and make it into a guide. So that now that video layer won't show up when I export my video either for the web or for video or just see my drawings. So there we go, make sure that your video layer when you're rotoscoping is set to guide so that it doesn't show up in your final export. So that's rotoscoping. Try importing some video and drawing over it, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hextuber Colouring and Activity Book on my website, hextuber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.